I finally made chore charts for my children. Um, I'm really excited because it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, just never really gotten around to it. And it just landed where I was able to make them yesterday. So I have this big paper and I think I want to laminate it so that they can cross out their chores each day um, as they go. But I made the rule that they have to have them all accomplished before dinner time every day. And Saturday, they only have one thing, on one thing, as on. well as Sunday. Okay, and then Monday through Friday is a little busier, just so like our on. schedule and Debbie's schedule. So Sunday, since I do laundry on Monday, they both have to pull out the hampers and put them in the hall to help me so that I can just grab them from the hallway in the morning um, and start the laundry. My big boy um, on Monday needs to take the trash out to the curb set the table for dinner, tidy up the playroom, and tidy his study. And then on Tuesday, he has to put away his clothes. So I'll do laundry Monday and fold it on Tuesday, and then he'll put away his clothes on Tuesday, clear off the table after dinner. Toy Hunt is walking around the house, gathering whatever toys are around and putting them where they go, and then tidy his study again. Every day will be tidy his study just for maintenance so the room doesn't get messy crazy. And then Wednesdays, I do laundry again on Thursday, so they'll put the hamper in the hall, set the table for dinner, tidy the playroom, tidy the study, and then Thursday, put the trash out again, so when it comes Friday, it's out there, then clear off the table, toy hunt, and tidy study, and then Friday, put his clothes away, set the table, tidy the playroom, tidy study, and then on Saturday, the only thing he has to do is toy hunt. And so they're pretty much alternating on the days where Ivan's setting the table, Joel's clearing the table. On the days where Joel's setting the table, Ivan's clearing the table. They both have to put their clothes away the same days and tidy their study every day. And then they're alternating toy hunt and tidy playroom. So it's really not that much. It's very doable. Not um, a lot at all, but we'll show them responsibility, which is always a good a good um, lesson and I have scripture for them work heartily unto the Lord you are serving the Lord Christ from Colossians 3 23 and 24 just to encourage them to work heartily and joyfully um, cheerfully unto the Lord that this shouldn't be a drag it should be um, a joy to honor the Lord serve the Lord first and then also in, in the process they're serving their family and contributing to the family and our home so so far, they have been super excited about this. They're like, I want to see my chore for today. So we'll see how it goes. But it's really stuff that they've already kind of been doing already. Um, for the most part, the only thing that I think is going to be brand new, like, is the, the consistency of putting the trash out. Ivan's been doing that for several weeks now. Um, but not on both days and not every week. So just that consistency will be new. And then um, getting back to a more regular schedule of them putting their own clothes away, I kind of started doing it for them again. And I want to get back to where they do it just because it shows them good responsibility. And I don't want to be putting their clothes away forever, you know. And then clearing off and setting the table just more consistently again. They've been doing that but more like a team and then there's conflict sometimes. So I think if they both have their own responsibility, it'll flow more smoothly. And just that ownership is good. And then the tidying the playroom and the, and the toy hunt, that's new, but that's gonna help me a lot. And I just want them to know that they have to help me. I can't do all the housework every day by myself, you know? Um, so they have their, most of the mess is theirs and it's helpful for them to pick it up. And I go with them and help them. Of course, they're really, they're still young. They can't see every marble in every corner of every room in the house. But for the most part, it's their responsibility. And they already tidy their study pretty consistently. And what their study is, I'll show you, is my husband built them loft beds. He is the best. And then he built them like a little desk underneath. And, um... It has a light and their Legos are down there, magnet kits, a little beanbag chair and like a box to stuff stuff in and they scoot it all under their desk. So right now it's not tidied at all, but it's the weekend. They can handle that or do that tomorrow. <laughs> so just wanted to share that with you guys.